the government of Saudi Arabia has admitted for the first time Saudi journalist, Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi is dead. The admission on Friday came after weeks of Saudi denials and shifting narratives on the whereabouts of Khashoggi, who entered the Saudi consulate in Istanbul October 2nd and was never seen again. The Saudis now say Khashoggi was killed in a fistfight inside the consulate, and that 18 Saudis have been arrested in connection with his death. President Trump on Friday said he found the claim credible, but later shifted his statements as lawmakers from both parties blasted the Saudi claims. This is Tennessee Republican Senator Bob Corker, chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, speaking on CNN Sunday. It's just not a credible story for somebody to walk in with 15 other people and get into a fist fight and lose their life. It's my sense, and I don't know yet, but based on the intel that I've read, based on the other excerpts that I've read, it's my thinking that MBS was involved in this, that he directed this, and that this person was pur purposely murdered. President Trump later told The Washington Post their stories are all over the place, but Trump's continuing to resist growing calls in Congress to cut off U.S. weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. And President Trump has questioned whether the killing was ordered at the highest levels of Saudi government. Saudi state media reports both King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman called Jamal Khashoggi's eldest son over the weekend to express their condolences. Saudi Foreign Minister Adel al Jubair offered this account of the killing on Fox News. First of all, we're not an authoritarian government, we're a monarchy. We have our checks and balances, we have our systems. The individuals uh, who did this did this outside the scope of their authority. There obviously was a tremendous mistake made, and what compounded the mistake was the attempt to try to cover up. That is unacceptable in any government. These things unfortunately happen. Turkish officials say Khashoggi was tortured, murdered, dismembered by a squad of 15 Saudi hitmen shortly after entering the Saudi consulate in Istanbul October 2nd. New Turkish surveillance video obtained by CNN shows a body double emerging from the consulate just hours after Khashoggi entered the building, apparently wearing the clothes taken off Khashoggi's body. But with mismatched shoes. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has promised to reveal the findings of an investigation on Tuesday. This comes as Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is traveling to Saudi capital Riyadh this week, where he's meeting with senior Saudi officials at an anti-terrorism center run jointly by the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. Mnuchin had told reporters last week it was premature to even discuss sanctions at this point. Meanwhile, a new report by The New York Times details an online campaign ordered by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to monitor and attack what he considered to be dissident Saudi voices on Twitter. As part of the effort, trolls would harass and silence critical voices, including Jamal Khashoggi's posts critical of Saudi Arabia's military attacks in Yemen would be reported as sensitive, which can result in the posts being removed by Twitter. The report also details the grooming of a Twitter employee, Ali Azabara, who was convinced by the Saudis to access a number of target Twitter accounts. Al Zabara was fired by the tech giant in 2015. And The New York Times reports the U.S. consulting firm McKinsey and Company carried out research that the Saudi government used to target dissidents.